Hi everyone, Tristan Tomasino, and welcome to another Weekly Market Pulse. We're starting the week with some big news in the West, with the Bradmill site on Francis Street in Yarraville being sold again. After only selling 12 months ago for 160 million, it sold last week to a Chinese consortium for 172 million. Why the extra $12 million in 12 months, you may ask? Well, there's two main reasons. Firstly, the Western Distributor is finally going through, it's being built by Transurban, and that's going to help with traffic congestion around the Melbourne CBD, and in particular in Yarraville, where on the Bradmill site, they're expecting to build 3,500 dwellings. However, moving on from that, and the second main reason is that the Victorian government have lifted restrictions on the uh, height restrictions of towers in the Melbourne CBD, and that is now pushed out to obviously Footscray and Yarraville as well. So it may allow the new builders and developers on the Bradmill site to build taller towers, which will mean they'll be able to get more dwellings on there and obviously make more money. Moving on to there, and it is our last auction weekend for 2016. We've got five big auctions this weekend, starting off with number two of 34 Southampton Street in Footscray at 10.30. Then we're moving on from there to 148 Francis Street in Yarraville, which is at 11.30. From there, we're moving on to number seven of three, Enzyme Street in Maribyrnong at 12 p.m. And then we're moving on to seven of 36, Aldridge Street in Footscray. And finally, we're finishing off with number 11, Cedar Drive in Maribyrnong at 2 p.m. So if you're out about on Saturday, feel free to come through and have a look at one of those auctions. I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of bidding as there is still a lot of buy urgency out there. A lot of people still missing out on auctions. So a lot. A lot of them trying to get in before the end of the year and the mad Christmas rush. We look forward to seeing you on next week's video and we look forward to seeing you this week out and about.